the double loaded. Oh, and he's oh, no. This is me. As close as you can get to the action at the Parkour World Championships. And I get the opportunity to interview some of the best athletes in the sport. Here's what it is. <laughs> it is. Most people don't even know that parkour has a world championships. Since the early 2000s, parkour competition has been part of the sport's identity. You see, these merry folk from the street were getting marvellous at jumping. In a jolly good showcasing of progression for the sport, we saw the early concepts of freestyle competition. As the years carried on, we saw more and more evolution of not only the judging system, but the event type. With speed, a race against the clock on a designated course to achieve the fastest possible time. And skill, designated challenges set by experts. Athletes must complete in a matter of time or attempts. It is a true showcasing of our sporting fundamentals. Good push. Yes, there we go. With these three events becoming the core format for our biggest and best event in parkour, SPL, the World Championships. Step strong push. Yes. If parkour does ever make it to the Olympics, SPL has the format that they should use. First competitor to complete that stick. So much control. Now this year hasn't been my most flattering. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. But I wasn't going to miss out on seeing our version of the Olympics. Yeah, buddy! Plus, we've all seen how seriously Australians take the Olympics. My first obstacle is travelling halfway around the world, just in time for kickoff. The booking I have will get me there at 2pm on Thursday, just hours before the doors open for qualifiers. It's 6.20am. To start my exciting journey across the globe. Ah, oh, I missed my flight. So I really messed up. Apparently you need an ESTA just to transit through the USA. So I'd gotten my ETA months ago, but didn't get the American one sorted. Oh, I was already down to the wire. While I wait another 24 hours and hope I make it to the first official day, let me give you a bit of history on SPL. Sports Parkour League, or SPL, was previously known as NAPC, North American Parkour Championships, with Renee and Tom from Origins Parkour conceptualizing and creating this event. First envisioning it to be a staple in American parkour culture and something that could bring their community together. But they did such a good job that every year international athletes would come and compete and even sometimes take the throne. The British Empire. It kept getting bigger and better and soon it became the gold standard of parkour competition, being endorsed by some of the biggest names in the culture. After seven years of NAPC and the break of the global pandemic, the event transformed into what it is today. SPL, which is produced and streamed live at sportparkourleague.com. I recommend you check it out. The full stream is still available. Come on, Eric. Oh, oh. I'm missing some exciting moments from the qualifiers and I'm getting pretty mad FOMO. But it's time to try and get to Vancouver again. All right, let's try this again. We've got a bus, trade, transit. There we go. A plane. Wait at LAX for five hours, another plane, and finally get a taxi to the event. I'm in the taxi now and it's T minus two hours until we kick off the first day. I have made it. All right, here we go. Very official. So official. <laughs> So I'm very lucky, they give me a VIP table. Front and centre, this is my seat. I literally get the sweat on me. This is the first real day. Day one, community round. For skill, they have six challenges and a 20 minute time limit. All athletes on the course at the same time. 0.5 points are awarded per completed challenge. Look at this split Ooh. camera, we get to see all the action at once. We're just taking the drop to the wall. Okay, Meg. They're able to scale up the skill event perfectly and it always seems to keep it challenging for the athletes. Open on. Yes. Yeah. 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 
And uh, it seems like there is a giant talking tomato in front of Michaela Quinn there. Not sure what the deal is there. Speed prelims. For speed, there are start and finish points marked by laser gates or touch pads. Competitors must trigger their own start. Yeah, some really clean footwork opting to go up. Checkpoints must be navigated in a specific order. Red flags stay on the right and yellow flags stay on the left. Connect this plyometric. Drops down, sit strong. Let's go! That last that step is down. No Good thing. jump! Slap it in midair! In first place. Jeez. Each competitor gets one official run. Ooh. Up and over <laughs> on this one. Come on. Every time. Sliding and slipping. Real Three life seconds. here. Oh, oh no, no got stuck speed. up. Takes the drop! The speed course design is elevated every year. And this course was no exception, with a lot more risk than I've previously seen in SPLs. Let's go, Tungay! Come on! Yes. There it is! Oh, oh look at that speed! And the Shane Ricketts Shane. in first place. We are back with women's style prelims. The style prelims, it's the combo round. Getting side flip to the A-bomb. Combo is two to three moves. We have strict connections. Competitors get one attempt before moving to the next zone. Oh! Victor, starting off with the combo. Oh, get it right to the wall! Seeing a giant tomato on screen. Shout out to all the farmers out there. Shout out to Italy uh, and tomato sauce in general. Fortunately, on the first night, I don't have to do any interviews. My back pain is terrible, and I'm out there just clapping like a seal. Like, oh, 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 oh. The fact that the level is so high in the first round is astounding. Some of the moves they were throwing in the first round combos were winning moves in previous years. That is our combo round for the night, and we're just kind of theory crafting about who moves through it. If you want to see the full event play out and who qualified that day, you can check it out at sportsparkallleague.com. Exciting news. If you want 40% off the stream, use code PENIS for 40% off the stream. Thanks, Josh Dowie. Oh. 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 oh, that might have fixed my back up a little on the bar. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Yeah, nice. Dup, da da ba bum. Fup, bum, bum. Day two is the semi finals, baby. Josh has been killing it on the live stream. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's really nice of you. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> My bad. What did you do? I fell off my bike. You yeah. just, you gotta wear a helmet when you do you those things. You look like you're crying blood. Oh I am. Oh my god. I am crying blood. Oh, well, good luck today. The glasses are gonna do a lot of work. Christians, pray to me. <laughs> <laughs> we have the same three events, but slightly different competition criteria for each. Just switching it up a little bit this year. Kong Cat, right into the lache.
really to the athlete's progression. Speed semi-finals. Nice, good step, good step. Only the top eight from yesterday are through and the same rule set as the prelims. Red on the right and yellow on the left. This year it was really exciting for me to be there, not only to be around it, but to go up and talk to the athletes and interview them between rounds. Maybe SBL is bringing me out my show. I, I feel so passionately about this contest and uh, I think it just it shows when I compete. Normally I wouldn't get the opportunity to go up and gas them up and excite them about the awesome things they've just done. Well done again. Yeah, it's my first year competing in SBL. I'm super excited to be here. I'm stoked to see you in the finals, man. Well done, congratulations. Uh, Getting that little bit of connection for me was, it was really exciting. It's a pleasure to watch you run the speed course. Congratulations on making it in. Absolutely incredible run. That's a good high five too. Style semi-finals is a line round. Oh, come on, boom. Come on. Yeah. 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 The top eight competitors from yesterday qualify through and the competitors will construct one style line. They each get one attempt to perform that line. Competitors will receive one score out of 10. Get ready for maybe the most free running line I've ever seen. I saw it in practice. You saw it in practice. Please. Way. Coming up. Oh, oh, it's in the Lewis, where is going. he going? Signature to the bars. Crazy side directly pre. to Plyo. How are you jumping right out of that? How do you know you're gonna land? Side pre alone is crazy, but plyoing out is next level. Come on. Hit. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Yeah, buddy. 9.12. Second, third, and fourth are all in 0.04 of each other. How do you feel about your line? Feel great. Some connections could have been better, of course, but I, I feel so, so I'm really happy about it. I feel like this was the perfect role for me to take on. Edward Scott coming in with a nice 9.12 there. So happy to be in the nine club. What the hell, man? Yeah, what man. the hell? Yeah, yeah. A very deserving 9.12. And yeah, can't wait to see what you throw down in the big tricks tomorrow, mate. Well done. One of the funniest things was because we're working on a live production, sometimes we'd make mistakes on the timing. Off right now. Okay. So just, uh, Good. <laughs> Mega defending champion. Or I didn't have the microphone on. All right, so for those of you who didn't hear at home. Or I would just have to hold those long anchorman smiles, like back to you. It's just, a, I don't know, it's just a weird thing to be doing. And now we're on to day three, the final. Ah! Dressed for the occasion, it's important. Now Olympics. And they give me the microphone the whole time. How was your night? They have three huge challenges. Three attempts per challenge. Adrenaline going. Come on! Yeah! Looks good. Yeah! Yes! Go! Oh, oh no! 
He wanted it so bad. Speed finals. Wow. Each competitor for speed gets two official runs and only the fastest time contributes to their total score. Scores from all three days are added together and then the total time of all three courses is how they determine the winner. The ultimate antithesis, the goal I had the whole time was that I could poke Ed in the face with a microphone, but every interview we did, he would take the microphone and just be like, no, wow, I'm never no, 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 no. And I was like, damn it, I don't have any control here. And then he made two errors in the speed round. His hand just slips off. And he was spewing. He was absolutely devastated. And I got a chance to just <laughs> it is what it is. Come on. It's annoying, it's annoying. And that made him smile, made him laugh. Always an outstanding performer, man. And yeah, man. Don't let it get to you, bro. Yeah, did well, did well. An exciting style finals. It's the big trick. Competitors will perform one big trick. They get three attempts to land their trick. Only the best score of all three will count towards their best trick score. Every year, this just gets more and more and more incredible. I don't even know how to begin to describe it to you. Go and watch the whole live stream. You'll feel the emotion. Step, strong push! Yes! Let's... The strong lines, the strong combination, but he had to really step it up this year in big trick. As you can see, Sports Parkour League is an incredible showcasing of what parkour is. And as a sport and as a culture, we have really platformed this to be our gold standard of competition. They've now created a World Series where people can qualify internationally for the event. And I hope to see this event really take it to that next level. If we're ever considered for the Olympics as a sport, please use this format and these people as they've proven to be the best at what they do. Thank you, Renee and Tom, for putting on an amazing series. I'll be back next year, no doubt. If you enjoyed this, click that next video and say hi to your mum for me. Whee!